My name is Ning Jin. I'm the principal engineer working at the uh, digital design methodology team at Global Foundries. 22FDX technology is a new 22 nanometer fully depleted silicon insulator technology offered offer by Global Foundries. We introduced this uh, insulator layer underneath the channel so we can reduce the uh, diffusion to substrate diode effect and the leakage in that direction will be reduced. That way, we can start applying body bias on the substrate without uh, increasing the leakage current too much. So in 22FDX technology, we offer two types of device structure. Uh, one of them is using uh, reverse body bias and the other one use forward body bias. So the reverse body bias device is actually the traditional CMOS structure that we apply um, we, we have NMOS on the P-well and the P-MOS on the N-well. So when we start applying body bias on the substrate, we can um, start um, raising the uh, threshold voltage of those devices. And on the other side, we have forward body bias device, which used flip well, means we have NMOS on top of N-well and P-MOS on top of P-well. So we can play with the uh, body bias voltage applied on the, on the substrate so we can try to lower the threshold voltage of the device. So um, there is a trade-off between leakage and the, and the performance of those two types of devices. So based on what's your need in your design, if your uh, transistors will work in the standby mode most of the time or in the high performance mode most of the time. You can play with the body bias, you can choose between uh, forward body bias or reverse body bias, try to maximize the performance and leakage of your design. So 22FDX, uh, as we introduce the uh, body bias uh, as a new dimension of design closure, a it introduced new challenges in the library characterization perspective as well. So for example, we need to make sure that the uh, body bias attribute are updated in your library. For example, in the voltage map, you need to make sure your uh, voltage supply on your substrate is updated. And also, you need to specify the power pins for your N-well, P-well in your library as well. So on the other side, uh, when, we, when, we, when we are modeling the library variation, we need to uh, make sure that uh, we are able to model the uh, timing variation at different timing arc, different input transition output load as well, which is um, incorporated into the LVF format that we are characterizing using variety. So we have used library to be able to characterize our 22FDX library with all the ad, uh, body bias related attributes uh, added. And also on the other side, for the variation characterization, we have used variety to characterize LVF uh, to include in our library. Like we are able to characterize the timing variation for delay, for slew, for constraints, according to different timing arc, different input slew and output load. Um, and also we are able to characterize the uh, statistical parameter at the early and late sigma separately. And also uh, at the end, we are able to merge the LVF library to the nominal timing library using Librate. So there are two parts of qualification has been done in our flow. So first part is the library characterization qualification using Librate. So we start the experiment uh, of a reference with a reference library with NLDM and CCS timing in there. Then we did a recharacterization of the NLDM and CCS timing and then uh, based on this library, we did an uh, implementation of an uh, ARM Cortex-A9 processor. And uh, after this implementation, we ran static time analysis in Tempest to correlate between the STA result and the uh, SPICE simulations. So um, we have seen very close correlation between SPICE and STA um, with like average of under 1% difference. So the correlation has been good and the, uh, the accuracy is good. So the other uh, part of our qualification flow is to qualify the variation characterization 
result in using variety. So we have run characterization for the library uh, using two methods. One of them is Monte Carlo method, and the other way is a sensitivity-based analysis. Then we use a compare library command from a library to compare the output of those two libraries. So um, look at the uh, delay variation and the slow variation sigmas. We have seen very close correlation uh, around uh, almost 100%, and uh, most of the points are matching between those two methods. And later on, after this library level uh, accuracy has been verified, we have using the um, LVF, LVF, LVF library in the uh, static time analysis in Tempest and compare the uh, data arrival time between the STA result and the SPICE Monte Carlo simulation on the same path. So we have seen very good correlation between those two results and uh, the average difference is under 2%. So for the runtime perspective, um, we have compared the runtime from the baseline LDM timing power and CCS timing noise characterization with the uh, LVF add-on characterization. So the runtime for the uh, baseline characterization was about 1.6 hours, and for the add-on characterization for LVF, it was only 1.3 hours. So which means you just need to spend less than one x extra of runtime, you are able to add the LVF tables in your baseline nominal library. So after those two points at the library level will be uh, qualified, we did an implementation of ARM core using the baseline library and compare the uh, static time analysis result from the uh, uh, Tempest versus the SPICE Monte Carlo simulations. So we have seen a very close correlation between the SPICE Monte Carlo simulations with the uh, uh, ST analysis from the LVF library characterized using Variety. So overall the performance of Variety is acceptable and good for the runtime, both runtime and accuracy perspective. So overall, as I mentioned, our 22 FDX technology has introduced a new attribute body bias in the library characterization process, and the library, library characterization solution is able to characterize our 22 FDX library with all the necessary attribute added. And also, it has shown very good correlation with uh, SPICE simulations. On the other side, variety uh, variation characterization has is able to um, characterize the LVF libraries and the qualification against SPICE Monte Carlo simulation for delay and slew has been very close. And overall, um, library and variety has a good balance between runtime and accuracy, so it will be part of our characterization flow.